etc oh my god my mind is so corrupted in every corner of my freaking ways it's like i don't want to do this because i know it's always bad for our health and mind plus contents it involved with it anyways okay let's get down with the basic territories you know our lives are weird as days come and forth and just struggles within, within us uh, we do struggle and sometimes we do struggle in every way in our daily lives and I try not to ignore it because it comes in battles with you and stuff like that and it's like I really want to enjoy myself as much as I, as I can because I see lots of cr our world is gone mad our world is gone crazy I hear rumors I hear sad reports and Especially the RFID crap. Oh my gosh, I don't want to think about it. It's like, I hear all the time. I see rumors of it. It's like spreading, spreading, spreading everywhere. It's like, I don't want to think about it. Because what happens if I want to do more traveling? Like, I don't want to travel. What is wrong with this? I don't get it. Okay, this is really odd in my ways. Because, like, what happens if it comes mandatory where everybody is forced to take this stupid chip? In the first place, like, oh my god. It's like you can't work no more, you can't buy nothing, you can't do nothing. You're like, oh my god, it is really weird. I know I'm weird sometimes, even though I just so betray myself. Like, hey, okay, thank you for it. I don't really mean what I say, and I don't like my mind sometimes, it gets really odd. And okay, what about wisdom? Okay, what about wisdom? I'm sorry about that. I don't get it. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Even though my mind is not always going to be peach and cream every now and then. I sure like talking to you guys, even though I am a little bit crazy every sense of the human form. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm really weird. I'm like, food shopping today. I, I wish I could go to the Philippines. I, I like the Filipinos. It looks so precious. It looks awesome. There's some really freaking awesome people over there. It's like, ooh. Well, the thing is, I don't want to think about the fly there. It's like two days to fly there. It's like two days to fly there. four days right there. It's like, oh my gosh, what did that go? Where did the time go? And like when I was there, like boop, boop, four days, just went out of the door. Like, oh, oh crap. I know it's so weird. I know what you mean. I'm sorry about that. Oh wow, you're weird. Thank you. And what if uh, what do you think about the rumors of wars every now and then? It's like it's a constant battle with them. It's like, why do I want to see? Think about that, like, I know it's mentioned in the Bible many times. Rumors of wars, rumors of wars, rumors of wars. And I hear on Facebook, rumors of wars, rumors of wars, rumors of wars. It's like, there you go. That's all I do. Plus, I'm like, everything that's been said in the freaking Bible has already, it's like, wow. Everything I see on the news, everything I see on Facebook has already been mentioned. Or what the Bible has mentioned already, it's already been revealing. It's like, it's like, whoa, oh my gosh, look at that, it's revealing itself. Like, and how do those people, unbelievers, not get this? Because it's already coming, unveiling itself. Like, like one wave, second wave, third wave. Like, oh my gosh, look at this, this is crazy. The waves, woo, woo. It's like, oh, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing. It's like everything is just unveiling itself. 
Whatever the Bible has mentioned is already availing, availing. It's like, what is wrong with these people? I was like, you're just making everything happen like the Bible has already mentioned about already. It's like, do you not get the idea? Do you not understand get the concept? Do you get the figure it out? It's like, what well, this is, I mean, because the Bible is a freaking fact. It's a non-fiction book. You just pretend it's non-fiction. I mean, you just pretend it's fiction, but it's not, it's non-fiction. Because if it's, if it was a fiction book, everything in the Bible would not unveil itself. Then nothing that we see would actually happen. It would just be, boom. It's just like, everything would go perfectly. Everything would just go, ooh, ooh. Like, nothing is going to bad happen. Like, the, what the Bible has mentioned about. Because everything you see on the news is already mentioned already in the little Bible. Even though the Bible is not little, but even though I pretend it is little, even though it's like, okay, why am I freaking? Ah, so weird. I'm sorry about that. I'm weird. Oh, my gosh. My mind is so crazy, I can't wait to get my double white bubble home in the future. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so blessing to me. It's gonna be weird. And everybody always says on YouTube, like, when people are commenting about my video on when I first time moving here, and so like, how much did you pay for your mobile home? It's like, why oh, keep post commenting on $50,000 and everybody's commenting the same freaking question over and over. It's like, why? I mean, I don't want to keep replying to that same message because I already answered to the another person on my comment on that particular video clip. It's like, what the heck's wrong with these people? It's like, go look in the comments, Mr. Looney Tune. It's all on the comments. It's like, duh. Uh, your comment, your answer's already, already there. It's like, don't ask again. You don't understand nothing. Sometimes you wish you did, but you never do. It's like, I don't get this, people. Anyway, I mean, I love to share everything that comes in in my life, journal, whatnot, because I like to keep you guys updated on everything because that's the way I am. And kind of sucks when you're always freaking single in all the time. I mean, so crazy because like, how can I have two? I mean, how can a guy who has two jobs, a homeowner, and very responsible, very thriving, and very successful with his money, and very independent in every quarter of the way, and he's all single. How is that even possible? It's like, well, because girls are very shallow here. Very, very, very shallow. It's like, wow. And all these girls, like all these homeless people. I was like, what the heck is up with this picture? Because I've seen lots of that already. It's like, okay. Well, not all of them are homeless, but there are some people who don't even have a house and still has a spouse or whatnot. It's like, how did you do that? I don't understand. Maybe because we're always outside out. I don't know. It's, and I'm always working, so I work, 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 like Rihanna song. Oh my God, I'm weird like that. Thank you for your coming. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking weird sometimes. I don't, I don't get myself every now and then, even though I try, even though I try. I am weird. It's like, now this coming summer 2018, it's like, okay, it's a toss up. What should I do? Go to a cruise ship or buy a house? Go to a cruise ship or buy a house? Hmm. Which one should be more favorable? of? Ah, this is a very tough question. I'm trying to figure it out. Hmm. 
This is weird. Okay. Well, if that wasn't for the case, I think it's better admirable if I go to to buy a house or something. Because the cruise ship can wait. Should I say? It can't wait until I guess this freaking permanent house because I hate Compton. I mean Central Avenue. I hate it. But I'm bound to, I'm stuck to it. I'm freaking have to tolerate every freaking morning. Who is gonna come around and freaking scare the bejeebers on me every morning? That's what I had to deal with every morning almost. Some lunatic will come to your face and scare the bejeebers of you. Or they'll just, just freak you out and panic you, make you panic and everything is like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's like, oh, I hate Central! I like peace and quiet. But sometimes I just don't get that. When I'm living on Central. Sometimes you have to deal with some weird person that may come around and try to scare the bejeebers of you. It could be a gang, it could be a thug, it could be a... Uh, a very psycho person or something. Even though we're supposed to love them, we're supposed to cheer them. I just don't say nothing to them, cause all I or they or they freak me out anyway. Cause when I'm over to freak out, I have a hard time talking to them, because I'm very, 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 very shy when it comes to meeting new people. Very shy, but very nervous. When it comes to people who are estranged or somewhat in a way because I'm not, I don't get it. It's like, why do you bother me like this? I don't want to destroy you wrong. I'm trying to go at peace and whatnot because I want this morning to be peaceful for me anyway, but you're disturbing it anyway. And by your, by the way, you're like rolling on my face like a freaking bear or something. Or a grizzly bear. Oh my gosh. It's bizarre. It's freaking crazy. Like, what are you supposed to do? I was like, oh, you're supposed to ignore him. Like, you can't ignore him when they're like freaking the crap out of you. Or it could be anybody too, bro. It could be anybody. It could be the one at Wyoming Central, for example. I hate that area too. I hate. Wyoming Central. It's like freaking Compton Avenue. Like, serious Compton. Like, they should change that road name or something to Compton. It's like, be careful what you see around here. You might be freaked out by some guy. You're like, yeah, I do that every single day. It's crazy weird. It's crazy frustrating what you have to do with these people. And like, you know, I don't do nothing because I'm just trying to live a peace. Even though everybody's all weird. But this only happened four or five different times in the morning time. But but not all the same morning. It's different days. Like very not it's like rare it's a rare moment, so but happened like five times in, in the first two years, maybe? Probably something like that. When someone comes at you and starts scaring the crap out of you. Like if they're a freaking monster. I'm like, <laughs> You are scaring me! <laughs> I wish I could say that, but... I don't have that sense of feeling to even express my feelings and emotions to that person because because they don't know you because they just like to scare the crap out of you. But that's Compton Avenue. I mean, Central Avenue. But you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. okay, okay, all right. Yeah, but that's just the way how Central is. Oh my gosh. But I love going to the movies, especially every weekend. I go, I try to go every weekend now because 
They got good movies coming out. Why not? I'm trying to enjoy my life. Especially when it's only three day weekend now. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. That started like last weekend. And now it's three day weekend all the time for me. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days off until whatever happens happens in the future. And I'm just all on Facebook a lot like rumors of wars, rumors of wars, rumors of wars. I was like, wow, this is what the Bible, what the Bible has mentioned, like many, many, many different times. I'm like, wow, this is nice. Not really, cause it freaks me out. <laughs> I was like, oh, what do these people talk about? Oh my gosh. I was like, I'm trying. I mean, all I do is work, 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 and always. Then of course, when I go on Facebook, I hear people like talking about Kim Jong Un. It's like, I'm gonna kill USA. I'm gonna kill USA. I was like, yeah, okay, you've been singing for decades, you've been singing for decades. It's all words. I mean, like, they try to shoot missiles. The oh, funny ocean. Um, nice one, bro. You know, it's like, whoo, back in the ocean. It's like, all your missiles go into the ocean. It's like, how are you going to try to aim at us? Like, it's like, oh, back in the ocean. Like, okay, dude. You are so weird. <laughs> Hi, Kenneth, what's up, man? <laughs> oh my god, you're weird. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. I can be crazy. But at least I try to have fun and try to live my life and work at something else, especially with some interesting people every now and then. It's like, oh my gosh. But yeah, whatever. But yeah, everything's going well. Everything's going good. And just. I just wish I had more things to talk about because my mind is, I mean, it's very active, but not active. It's active, but not active. It's the only active when I'm actually outgoing and actually doing stuff and my mind's all, like, it's in high gear of thinking of thoughts and et cetera. It's like, it's like the words come out better when you're actually in motion, but when you're not in motion, it's not going to be easy to find. It's like, okay. <laughs> oh my God, Randall. <laughs> Hi, Randall. Oh my gosh. This is interesting. I think it's supposed to be working. <laughs> oh my God, you're weird. Yeah. Especially the past week, I, my sister Heidi sure has been going through a lot of hell with this Raymond guy. Oh my gosh. She, he's trying to jeopardize her job and stealing thousand dollars worth of cigarettes. That's Raymond for you. And now Heidi is like on red alert of might lose her job or not because of Raymond's actions. And oh my gosh, this is weird. I feel bad for Heidi because of Raymond. Oh my gosh, this is like not cool. And I wish I. I don't know what to do because not much to do. Especially like the way how Raymond threats at Heidi a lot with his own special words. I was like, come on, dude, just let it go. Just bug off her. Because this is bad. Just very bad. I was like, Heidi doesn't need to go through this crap because she's trying to, you know, bring some good vibes in her life and bring good justice and she's trying to, you know, get more up there in, in her life and not fall short on anything. But of course, when she hangs out with the wrong people and then kind of gets blended with some bad consequences involved and especially like Raymond, he's trying to screw everything up for her and it's not good. It's like, I feel bad for her because she has to go through this crap every night almost. Like, oh my gosh, it's weird. <sighs> wow. I just hope this future will bring some good justice in some ways. I know I like to talk. I just don't have time to talk like this on this live video <laughs> all the time because I'm always working. 
And when I'm not working, I always like, like getting tired, exhausted, and on high gear. It's something else, but yeah. I think that's all I have to say for now since I think I said too much. But yeah, that's all. Have a great day, everybody. It's Saturday.